This conference will now, now be recorded. recorded. And I'm just covering, introducing uh, myself uh, to the group here. We have a wonderful group here today at Right at Home Realty in Burlington, Ontario. So yes, I've been a real estate broker since 1972 or four, uh, helping new homes average about one end a week for all the time I was in real estate and residential. Um, internet business coach and mentor. We do these seminars at real estate boards, real estate offices for the last several years. Speaker at real estate boards, office founder. CCIM, that really kind of helped. Everyone should uh, get into the CI 101 course and go to CCIM.com, look up the CI 101 course and you'll see what it's all about. You can register for that. And also go to CCIMCanada.com for the local chapter. Um, now, these other ones, the CIPS, I'm recommending everyone in this room consider getting it, stands for Certified International Property Specialist. And there's about 3,500 of us in the world today. Um, six uh, back in June, I went to the um, National Association of Realtors Mid-Year Conference. That's where all the National Association of Realtors, there's roughly 2 million in North America, gather in Washington DC and about 10,000 that attend that event. And I attended all the CCIM events, I attended CIPS events, commercial events, other real estate events, global alliance, international sessions. I was just going full tilt all week long to all these different sessions. It was just wonderful to be able to speak with people from all over the world that are going through the same issues that we're going through. I was really interested in MLS trying to expand in Europe. And they're having a tough time expanding in Europe because a lot of people in Europe, they don't want to cooperate with their listings. If I have a listing, I'm keeping it here and then I'll go and sell it to somebody myself. Sometimes they don't want to share. But there was one gentleman that was just over the top, excited and enthusiastic from Romania. I got a big kick out of him. They got MLS established in Europe and that's the foothold. And from there, it can kind of grow and grow and grow. Very exciting. So attending all those meetings is wonderful. Um, this studies a lot of the different cultures of the different countries of the world. How do they do business in England? How do they do business in Japan? And different things like that. And all these different things that you kind of learn going through that course and just wonderful people all over the world. So that if you're ever going to do a referral to somebody in the Caribbean or Yugoslavia or someplace around the world or vice versa, you get incoming referrals. You can feel confident that you're giving it to somebody that you can trust and look after your people. And I think that's wonderful for these networks that we belong to. And so, yeah, I'm gonna suggest that you consider getting your CIPS designation. And I'm working more because of our service, the world networking of information, not just listings. I'm getting more into the international stuff all the time, trying to connect people all around the world so that eventually all of the brokers in the world can have all of their listings on each of your websites with one button. We've done it. It's just the case of everybody getting on it now. <laughs> and it's working really swell. And that's what we're out there to kind of do. Now, social media, let's talk about that. In this room, how many people want more traffic to their websites? How many? Basically everyone's, <laughs> okay. Thank you for putting up your hand. So the social media can kind of help do that. The social media can help do more than that too. Other countries of the world, they don't have organized real estate, a lot of countries. And so when people come here, sometimes they don't know who to deal with. And so we're suggesting that on your Facebook page, that maybe you mention that you belong to the Canadian Real Estate Association. It has a code of conduct, a code of ethics that people will come to respect over a period of time. In fact, if you do something wrong, you get your hand slapped. In fact, you do something really wrong, you can get barred. And if it's, we even have insurance to cover things when things go wrong. So those are the kind of things that a lot of people don't know. And we're suggesting that you should put it on your Facebook page, have that kind of information. You belong to the Canadian Real Estate Association, the Ontario Real Estate Association, the Toronto Real Estate Board, the Oakville and Milton Real District Real Estate Board, whatever boards you belong to, put it on there and even put on there why deal with a realtor? Why not put that all on your websites? Right on the front page. 
Let them know your credentials. Every one of you has wonderful credentials. You had to go through courses and jump through the hoops and try to get your license and you belong to things. And now you have experience and people can feel comfortable that don't know anything about Canada. And why is that important? Well, the population of Canada would be going down if it wasn't for immigration. Three to 350,000 people coming here a year. That's wonderful. And those people are pretty sharp, a lot of them. There are, they've got Facebook and they know how to get on the internet. Everybody's got phones. Everybody's got more than one phone. Everybody's got two or three phones. The other ones are the older ones. And that's the same all over the world. There's actually more phones in the world than there are people. <laughs> and on the internet, 4.5 billion people are connecting in with all of these things on a regular basis. So that's where the activity is, a lot of things on the internet. Now, Twitter, that's another one you can be using. LinkedIn, that's really, in one sense, just like your business card on the internet. You should all have a LinkedIn profile. Belongs to the Canadian Real Estate Association. Maybe you could even put a link to the Canadian Real Estate Association. You belong to Ontario Real Estate Association. You belong to the Metropolitan Hamilton or the State Association of Hamilton Burlington. You put all of that stuff on your websites, on your LinkedIn profile to let people know that you've got a lot of capability and they can trust you. And it's a good place to start with you. The YouTube, a lot of you are starting to get into that. We use that extensively. In fact, today's session, we record it. And if it's good enough, and hopefully it will be, um, it'll be available on the internet later too for you all to kind of listen to. So the National Association of Realtors, um, when I do these sessions at the end, one of the things we'll be handing out before you leave, if you don't mind, please fill out the evaluation form after today is over. And one of the questions here will be, would you like your real estate board to provide this service to you? We've had everyone answering yes for the last year. So we went to Washington with a view to try to get the National Association of Realtors to adopt this service and provide it to all realtors worldwide. You've got MLS. And now you have ILS. Interesting. Information listing service. Has anybody in this room in the last little while had some person say, I'd like to sell my property but I don't want to give you a listing, but I will pay you a commission. How many people have had them say that? Okay, can I use yourself for one example? Can you give me an example, not the name of the person or the address, but the type of property and approximately how much it is? How much is it like, you know, 700,000? Okay, was it a home? Uh, a, a rental home, I think. A which? Uh, yeah, home. It's a home? Yeah. Okay, and is it available right now, by the way? No, it's available, but that, no, they don't want me to go. They don't want to give you a listing. No. But if you brought them in $700,000 on an offer, would they look at it? They may, but I'm not sure. They may, but they say it. They, okay. Yeah, they say that, but I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I can tell you, if you've got a $700,000 offer, you think they're going to want to look at it? <laughs> okay, it's possible. But let's go to another one. Let's bring up another one. Not different episodes, no different timing. It was commercial, residential, they want to be and What kind of property? Commercial and residential. It was industrial in Brampton. Okay. And approximately how much money? The one in Brampton was two point five and the one in so I have another commercial in Oakville that was nine. Okay, so is that available right now, theoretically? No, I sold it. Oh, you sold it. Okay, good show. Does anybody have anything right now that somebody said, bring me in an offer and I'll pay you a commission, but I don't want to be a listing? Okay, let's talk about that one. Two days ago, very good. Um, so it's a bit tricky. So I'll just let you know how it happened. So the brother-in-law is a real estate agent. Ah, very good. Um, but he tried to sell it, he didn't sell it because last year, so she doesn't want to go to him again. It's a bit of family politics. So she's like, I don't want to listen to you. 
Um, so I want to if, in other words, some people don't want to list with you because they've got other family members that are also real estate brokers. We had one family, they have five brokers in the family. You're going to make four people un very, very unhappy, right? Okay, so this is going to be a solution for all this situation. I'm going to be giving you a solution for this in a moment. And uh, roughly how much was the property? Is the property? She, she wants 800. 800. It's a home, single family? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, in Burlington? In London, Ontario. Okay, so Ontario, there's a home and it's $900,000. You're the only one that knows about it along with the other, the, the owner. Basically, is she at the moment a secret agent? <laughs> Am I right or wrong? She's the only one that knows about it. Am I right or wrong? Over here, when you know about a piece of commercial property, you just became a secret agent, just like James Bond. <laughs> Who else has got a secret that they can share with us? Not the address, but something. Has anybody got a home coming for sale in the next one, two, three, four, five months? I'll, let's talk to you first. Go ahead. Well, it's not necessarily for sale. She wants to sell. Um, her family has been staying here for a while. Okay. Uh, so she says, it's a do home? I have, do I have a buyer? Right? She doesn't want to go through the fuss and the big schmozzle of putting on MLS and signing. And the neighbor's not letting him know. Okay, approximately how much money is it? 1.4. And what city? In Burlington. And it's a home. Is she a secret agent now? You've just become a secret agent. Right or wrong? Okay. Now, there was another one here. Something coming for sale. I want another one that's coming for sale in the next one, two, three, four, five months. Go ahead. I know of one, one of our realtors, she's a friend of mine. It's her mother. She's um, just bought and they're going to renovate over the winter and then this in the spring. Okay, so it's going to come so for sale. Here, she would be sharing it. it might be coming for sale next spring. Yes. yes. So you know about it. I know about it. Do you know approximately how much money it might be? Uh, after right now, it's just over a million. Okay, so one point. 1 million or something, right? Another secret agent. She knows about it, but nothing's being done on it, right? Do secret agents make any money? No. no. Now, I'm going to cover today how the, uh, and show you the difference of the MLS versus ILS. When you take a listing on MLS, a signed listing, and you hand it into the real estate board. They take that listing and they put it on the internet where there's 4 billion people. And maybe 20 people are interested and maybe 10 people go through the property and maybe four make an offer and one ends up buying it. The backbone of our industry is MLS. I've served on MLS committees. It's the best system in the world. Absolutely, it will always be. But in this room, we've got other people with information that nothing's being done about it. That was the essence and the impetus and the origin of developing the service to keep track of those pieces of information out there. You know, if you have a saddle, you're a farmer or a person who makes saddles for horses, and you put that saddle on there, how you embroider it and make it with good leather and you rub things in and do things good to it. People all around the world can see it and they can call you about that saddle. Well, in real estate, go ahead, you got another one? I have a question. Go ahead. Okay, so in essence, we're talking about an exclusive listing without paperwork. Right? We're, we're com no, no, there's gonna be paperwork involved, but I'm gonna show you the step-by-step right. -step so process. Say, I'm gonna, I'm, Actually, thank you for the question. Okay. You have jumped the gun. You knew it. <laughs> and thank you for actually, that's good. We're, we're actually getting there. <laughs> now, this piece of information, and I'm going to be showing you in a moment in RICO. RICO has a requirement that if you are going to give an address to someone, you must have the consent of the owner in writing. No question, okay? But if you don't give them the address, 
if you do not identify the property, you can actually network it on, on, on an information service and we've been doing it for 25 years. But every single person that joins here, I'll go through this with them, every single one. That if you're gonna put something on here that you do not have a signed listing, you must not identify the property or give an address. So you can say $1.2 million home coming for sale in Burlington in spring next year. You can put that ad on ICI World. You can put that commercial property on here. $1.4 million industrial building, Mississauga, how many square feet? And then you can put these other properties, you can put it on here. The problem is when someone calls you, what's the first thing they're gonna do when they call you? What is, what's the address? Are you going to give it to them? A big no, a big no. You must know that. You know, there's lots of legal things in this business that you can get into trouble. Almost 400 different things on every offer. You've all had to go to school and we keep going to school to study it all. If you don't tick off hot water tank as a rental unit or it's owned, you can get into trouble over just that. And pay for it. And, pay for it. and we've had experiences doing that. So the biggest thing now, and I'm gonna be giving you a test during this session to not give it away if you don't have a signed listing, okay? Now, what can you tell the people? Well, you could say to somebody that calls you, say, well, in, um, I know you'd like to know the address, but in this particular case, we have to put an agreement in place first. But I should be getting the listing signed in about three weeks, and if you like, when I do the first open house, I'll invite you to it. You can be one of the first people through the property. Or in the case of yours, you're gonna say, well, in this particular case, it's available now, but I have to put an agreement in place first. Why don't you come to my office on Saturday at 12 noon on New Street in Burlington, and I'll make arrangements for you to see it. And then the day before your showing, you go get a 48 hour exclusive listing. So in other words, even though we have 30,000 listings here and 75% of them are exclusive, it doesn't mean that we don't put an agreement in place first before showing the property or before divulging the address of the property. Got it? Now, some people will pump you for it. They'll say, that you can tell me, I'm your buddy, I'm your friend. And they're gonna pump you for it. How much commission will you make on that industrial building if you double end it, how much? Tell me, $200,000, it's a big one. $200,000 and one little slip of your tongue, you just can kiss it away goodbye and it's happened. How many people have been burnt by somebody going around the back in this? Okay, so there's a school of hard knocks. They've learned it the hard way. And we're saying, you gotta tighten up people. You gotta tighten up with your information. The same way a doctor has confidential information. An accountant has confidential information. Lawyers have confidential information. This is our confidential information when we know something. It's valuable. Everyone in this room has a big heart to help people. When they ask us questions, we, we're, we service. We're in this business. This, you don't last in this business if you don't enjoy servicing people. <laughs> you know. So we love to help people. We want to answer things. But this is one thing you don't give out. You've got to protect your information, just like it's money in the bank. And if you give people clues to how to get to it, they'll go around behind your back and get to it. That's a big lesson to learn. You can learn it the hard way, or you can learn it here, right? <laughs> you have two choices. Yeah, very exciting. Last week, Lena called me. She says, Gary, I could hug you. I just made $135,000. A check, 130, because I ask everyone who joins, the first check you get and you've got it in your hands. I don't care about the leads. I know everybody's gonna get leads. 
when you get the check in your hand, give me a call. I want to be one of the first people to congratulate you. It's wonderful. There's people here who have made over $1 million. And all they had to do was join for one of our little renewal, renewal fees here. But we're keeping the price down. It's the internet. I want to bring everything, the benefit of the internet, the full power of the internet at the cheapest possible way. And you'll see how we're kind of doing it. Right now, this is a new website that came online. And people that have known us for years say, Gary, what are you doing? You've got all kinds of websites. You've got this website here, nrilf.com. Business cards here, by the way. By the way, anybody that wants to join today, there's a special at only one. We've got 20 major world websites. We've got another 80 on the way over the next three, four years. Why? Well, let's talk about it. Has anybody ever seen this magazine? Okay, at the top right corner, that is ICI World. It's thousands of dollars people to do this. And does it benefit me? It benefits you. Because if somebody goes to this website and they see your listing, they call you up. You make an appointment, you go show it and make $30,000. We have people thousand dollars The best one I know is two hours work, he's told me, an industrial building in Scarborough. From ads like this, we're generating traffic for you. There's another one, that's the one magazine. Another one is the Business Exchange. Here's a magazine that has been in your office ever since this office opened. I'm gonna ask you all a question. On the back page, there's the information on ICI World right there. It's been in your office the whole time you've been here. Has anybody ever seen that ad? Want anybody at all? No. And amazing. It's in that, it's right on your front there. And it's right at the back. NRE, National Real Estate Information Listing Service. So our challenge, you're all overwhelmed with information. <clears throat> Everybody today is right up to here with information, just overwhelmed, overloaded with it all. So how do you cut through it? Well, there's only two things you do if you're a member here. You just search on your phone once a day. Oh, there's somebody that, by the way, who would like to make money today before five o'clock? Anybody? <laughs> if I'm, I'm not gonna do it on the phone because I'm gonna just take an extra few seconds and I don't wanna do that. You go to the phone and you check the wants. This is a have and want information. There's nowhere where there's a list of wants like there is on this service. And it says wanted, restaurant, greater Toronto area, 100 to $300,000. Now, is anybody gonna eat in a restaurant today? Anybody? Okay, how about five o'clock Saturday? <laughs> okay, next time you go to a restaurant is what I'm getting at. You could go to a restaurant today and you're paying your bill. I'm going to pretend you're the restaurant owner. Okay? Sure. Thank you. By the way, I really enjoyed the meal and I pay the money for it. By the way, I happen to be in real estate and here's my business card. I happen to have a number of buyers for restaurants and I would like to ask you a question. I'm in real estate. Okay. If I could get you the price you wanted for your restaurant, would you consider selling? Say yes. Yes. <laughs> How many restaurant owners, I'm just gonna ask some of the older gentlemen here, how many restaurant owners might say yes? I'd like to ask these two gentlemen. You think? Do you think zero? What do you think? Timing is important. It depends on really good and yeah. Most of the probably consider. That's right. He's actually, I'm more inclined to listen with it. Restaurant owner is there to make money. And if he can make money selling his restaurant, he'll just go open another one someplace else and keep going. A lot of them will say yes. <laughs> what if you knew there was somebody looking, you check the listings today on your phone from ICI World and you see there's a buyer for a daycare center. Does anybody take their kids to daycare in this room? Anybody? Okay. Could you, could you, if you wanted to, <clears throat> talk to that daycare owner and say, <clears throat> listen, I'm in real estate. If I could get you the price you wanted for your daycare center, would you consider selling? Could you ask that of that owner? Sure. 
And how much money does it cost you to ask that question? Zero. Could you do it before five o'clock today? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a question. Before this meeting, you may never have even thought of that. Am I right or wrong? But now when you know what buyers are looking for, is there anybody that's going to stay at a hotel or motel in the next one, two, three, four, five months? Anybody at all? Okay. Could you ask to speak to the owner of that motel? Yeah. And could you ask them, I happen to be in real estate. And by the way, here's my card and my website. I have about 200 hotels and motel buyers on my website. We can supply that to you, by the way. And uh, I just like to ask you a question. If I could get you the price you wanted for your motel, would you consider selling? Even if they don't want to do it now because of timing, they might call you back in two or three months and say, yeah, you were talking to them. So in other words, by asking the right questions to the right people at the right time, you can end up getting business from the wants that are on this service. So that's, one of the things now I mentioned before that I jump around, but everything is in this PowerPoint presentation. I will be using this as a checklist near the end of the meeting to go that I've covered everything. I'm covering them in different orders right now. And so people say, what's going on, Gary? You got this website here, ILS. You got that other one, NRS. You got another one, World Real Estate Information Service. You got ICIWorld.com. You got all these ICIWorld.mobile. You got these mobile. What's, what's going on? They are all what I call tools for a broker's information toolbox. When you go to Canadian Tire and you buy some screwdrivers and put them in your toolbox, you can buy a red handle, a green handle, and a black handle. They're all screwdrivers, but they're a little bit different. These are tools, everything I'm talking. This is another tool, ILS.realestate. It's another tool. But in every single case, if you open the app right now, just one person open the app for me and show me your phone. Just open your app and show me the phone. You should be able to open the app within five seconds. Four, three, just show me your phone. Two, one, okay, you've got it. Down at the bottom, you're gonna see commercial, business, residential, and FISBOS. Do you see that at the bottom? It is the same on every single tool that we supply. In other words, all the websites that we have, 20 major world websites, another 60 coming over the next two, three, four years, they're all designed to do different things on the internet with one goal, and that is to display your listings to the public worldwide. We now get people from 138 countries coming in here regularly, um, clicking on these listings and doing business with people. It's wonderful the stories we're getting. You can even go to that website and click on more and go down and click on testimonials. Please do that right now while I get my next portion ready. It's called uh, the word more down at the bottom and then look for testimonials there. See if you can find it. And what's the first testimonial? that you find. Can you find it? If you click on more, it's the fourth button down. Testimonials from zero to $75 million. Can everyone click on that? Okay, now start reading through them. Start reading through them. A deal on a small plaza, $1.9 million. There's just all kinds of deals that are going on here. Every single one of these was done with information that was not on a real estate board. I wanna get you excited. This is just the beginning. We're just scratching the surface. There's so much information that you can make money on with your license. You have a very valuable license that you're allowed to trade in this kind of information. And you can see the deals that are kind of going on here. Okay, let's go back. Now I'm gonna start right up at the beginning here. And we've already shown everyone the resources in the room here. Everyone that's gonna be listening to this video now and in the future, this will apply even if it's years from now. It still applies because it's applied for the last 25 years. <laughs> okay, let's move on. 
Um, yes, there's 3.7. I'm going to be changing that. There's over 4 billion people now on the internet. And ICI World is a society of real estate brokers and salespeople. And we're networking exclusive information. You can also advertise your regular real estate board listings. And we're specializing on the mobile devices, computers, reaching people locally in 138 countries. So we only allow licensed real estate brokers and salespeople to join the service, but we display your information worldwide. <laughs> and normally that's how much it costs. There's gonna be a special today, as you probably all know anyways, but normally anybody that goes to the website, they join for $40 per month, no contract, or 319 per year. If anybody is interested in joining, you actually go to only one website of all the 20 major websites that we have right now. There's only one where you will get the special and you would not know it unless I told it to you. There it is right there. N-R-E-I-L-S.com. If you go to that site, not only can you get it for 240, but you get it for 18 months. When I do these seminars, I mention that. That's the only place where you can get it. 240 for 18 months if you ever go to that website and join but you do not leave this meeting without making an appointment with us what is the appointment about well we recommend that every single person needs one appointment with us to get going to know what's going on here how to put your information in and how to search and we teach that how to do that over the internet it's a one hour with a webinar one-on-one -on -one, by appointment, we're just like a doctor's office. And I'm gonna ask everyone here a special question and it's gonna sound kind of crazy. I'm asking everyone not to call us on the phone. Please do not call us. If we have 1,000 people calling us, we would need five people. It would be $200,000 a year to answer the phones. Instead, just go to our service and make an appointment. So if you have the app on your screen, you go to the app and click on more. Again, just click on more. And the uh, third button down, what does it say, the third button? Login. login, just click on the login, please. And what's the first choice on the screen? Make an appointment. We don't play telephone tag. 10 minutes for your time, you go to our main website, icirworld.com and you click on webinar workshops and our two computers get connected. Gentiana has just joined just a few days ago, actually. How did it work out having that one-on-one -on -one appointment? It's good, I booked another one. There you go. So in other words, if you need assistance, you just book another one. No phone calls. When you come to our office, our phones are quiet. <sighs> Never used to be like that until we used this program to do it. There was just so many phone calls coming in all at once, couldn't handle it. But now it's organized. It's just like a doctor's office every hour on the hour. If somebody needs assistance, just make an appointment and we help you one-on-one -on -one at your pace. We used to have group sessions. Somebody would be wanting to go fast. Somebody was too slow and it was never, never worked out in a group session. This way we do one-on-one. -on -one. The nice thing about it is you will only ever need one or two sessions. If you need more, no problem but usually everybody can uh, get going with one or two sessions. Now, <clears throat> my goal has always been to try to figure out a way to make the internet absolutely free for all of you, but I didn't want to give up one thing. Do pop-up ads drive you crazy on the internet? They drove me crazy. I don't want to have pop-up ads on the service. It's taken us a lot longer to grow this service because of it, but we've kept it clean. It's just straight real estate information. That's it. Now, how are you going to make any money if you don't have pop-up ads? That's where most of these services, they're taking your information. They're even selling information back to you. Who doesn't like that? You know, it's our information and they're selling it back to us. And then putting advertisements in on top of that. Well, why not deliver directly to the public? And that's what we're doing. So what we have done is we made an arrangement with this special company here. Has anybody in this room ever attended Realtor Quest? Okay, isn't it fabulous? Yeah. 
there are more products and services in one day. In fact, nowhere can you see more products and services in one day for realtors as you can at Realtor Quest. It's not just for the Toronto Real Estate Board members. Who's a member of the Toronto Real Estate Board? Anybody in this room? Very good. It's free for you and you get a free lunch. It's free and you can go there. But if I were you, I'd put your running shoes on, get really good, comfortable, get a shopping bag, have a smoothie, get full of energy and go there for the whole day. It's like going to, um, what's that discount warehouse? Costco. Costco on a busy Saturday. You know how everybody's all over the place. It's just like that. It's really busy. <laughs> and it's Realtor Quest. Okay, Google it and you'll be able to find the link. Anybody has any trouble finding it? Who can you call? Right here. You can even call here. <laughs> okay, I'm in this. By the way, even though I have been a broker for over 40 years, please consider me as a personal marketing and information assistant to you personally. I'm here to kind of help. I'm specializing in being an assistant to every single one of you, every single one, one on one. And I'm enjoying growing old with everybody. I wish I could live another 100 years the way the good stories that I'm hearing about everything. So please consider me as a personal marketing and information assistant to each and every one of you. So we have a booth at that show. And at that booth, we have one of the busiest booths at that whole show. And one of the reasons we make a statement that you could have a $30,000 website and it's not as powerful as the websites that we are supplying from ICI World for $16.50. Now it says $19 here, that's by the month. But if you do it by the year, divide that by 12, you get $16.50. And the reason it's powerful is I think from a broker's point of view, it's the listings that people are interested in. Are, do you agree or disagree? It's the listings. And if somebody can see a listing that they're interested in, the goal is to try to get them to call you. But there's a little problem with the MLS listings. If one of your family members sees an MLS listing, they'll actually give you the MLS numbers, five of them, and say, I'd like to go see these five on the weekend, right? But if it's somebody new coming to your website, they might see the address of the property in that listing. And if they see the address of the property, is it possible that they might drive by the property first before calling you? Yeah. And if they drive by the property first before calling you and they see the sign in front of the property, is it possible they're gonna call the other broker that's on the sign? And if they end up doing a deal with that other broker, does that other broker call you back and say thank you? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what you're gonna find is that we, uh, by the way, it's still absolutely essential for all of you to have MLS on your website. However, there's another way of displaying listings where people cannot click on the listing numbers. Does that mean? It means they have to call you. Isn't that wonderful? Now, if you're a residential agent and they're calling you on a commercial listing and they say, oh, by the way, I'd like a little more information on this little shopping center or business or apartment building or piece of land or farm or something. Can you help me? What should you say? Yes, I can help you. I will have someone call you back. And then you can get a hold of that other broker who's got that listing and say, I have a lead for you is a 25% referral permission okay with you? You tell me. Wonderful. Question. I'm pretty sure we just covered commissions recently and didn't Richard mention that we have to have the buyer sign a form and have their consent to be arranging the commission with another broker or agent? This is a referral. You have referral forms in your office and referral forms are different from what you're talking about. Okay. A referral form simply is a, refer, uh, is a referral form. It has the uh, referral salesperson, the receiving salesperson, and some information about the property, 
and that kind of thing. It's a referral form. And if we get your uh, broker or manager to come in here, he's, he's actually gonna bring them in a little later. Can you ask Richard to bring in that? Okay. And this is wonderful. So then that way you can do a referral. Okay. So when the person calls us and says, I'm interested in this listing, and you say, I can. What I would do is I would call the other broker and say, I have a referral for you. Okay. And you put your referral agreements in place. So otherwise, you're not going to get your commission. Oh, yeah. You want to make sure you have it in writing. You okay. bet. Yeah. You bet. But the lead was triggered from your website, from the listing that ICI World was on your website. They called on one of those ads because they couldn't click on it. I'm going to be demonstrating that here in a moment. But this particular corporate card allows you, if you use it, there's over 250 vendors in the greater Toronto area and worldwide that are supplying uh, discounts for different things. One broker told me he saved $220 renting a car in San Francisco. Another one saved $200 on a Lenovo laptop computer. Another one, I saved $150 when I was in Washington on a hotel. Um, Doris, she just saved uh, $80 buying Cinepix tickets instead of $180. She got them for $100. Uh, Canada's Wonderland, stuff like that. There's lots of discounts, and we supply this card to all new people joining that allows you to have discounts, which if you use it, is going to save you more than theoretically the $240 uh, joining the service. That's one way to get the service free now. Um, let's move on. Actually, this is a service that you could offer to your clients. You can actually buy this service from corporate plus cards and you could be doing it yourself too. And a lot of our broker members pick up on this and they start offering it to their clients. Say, so here's a discount card, take your kids and get a discount and all these kind of different things. It's kind of neat. Now, there's other ways that you can get uh, this membership. Basically, it can become free and it should become free for you for the rest of your life, marketing worldwide. How? Well, starting with the VIP corporate card, if you use it. Some brokers don't use it, they don't care, that's up to them. Referral program, ah, when you become a member, you can refer other people to join the service. If you get one person to join, then you get $79 off your renewal fee. So instead of 319, by the way, can you all look at the one form that's called member application, application special? If you have a look on there, how much is it normally to join ICI World application special? Everyone should have it. Referring brokerage. Here. Yep. Seller, the buyer, whoever you are. Okay, good. You got it. So have them Very good. So there's a copy of the referral form that you can get from your office. Okay. And you get that all filled in the best you can. Okay. And that'll be the referral to kind of ensure that you get paid. There you are. So we bring that up because we have one broker now who has done 15 referrals. Yeah, that's over a six month period. If you think that each referral is five minutes to do, that broker made $45,000 doing those 15 referrals. The reason he only made $45,000, each referral was about $3,000. He's in a smaller town. He's an ex agent out of Peterborough, Ted Davis. So yeah, that's just from doing referrals. So if you're a part-time agent, if you are going to retire someday, we're going to say, don't give up your license, retire brokers. You keep it and start to do referrals. When you have listings on your website where people can't click on them and they have to call you, theoretically, you could be sipping on a pina colada in Florida and you can still do a referral. And that's what this is all about. It's, it's getting all, one of the goals, if you read this, this, particular brochure here. It says, would you like to have your listings, haves and wants displayed on the websites of an international network of real estate professionals? You can agree or disagree on every single listing. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But if you want to, you can. That's the essence of MLS. Does anybody know when MLS started? Take a guess. Just shoot out a year. It doesn't matter if you're wrong. When do you think MLS started? Just name a year. 87. I'm sorry? 87. 1987? 
Anybody else? Keep coming. Sorry? 1970. 1960. 85. Oh, no, this is before, way before the internet. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Who's the, who's the low, who's the oldest so far? 1970, 1960. The answer is in the late 1800s. Yeah. Brokers like this got together and they said, you know, I'll let you sell my listing if you let me sell your listing if you let me sell you can sell my listing if you let me sell your listing we get together okay and we'll split split the commission that's what we're doing on ici world now with information it's the same thing we have brokers who have agreed to allow their listings to be on your website and you can choose to allow your listings to be on their website when I'm in the CIPS organization and we have international brokers all over the world, my goal is to get all those international brokers to agree to their listings to be on everybody's website, but in a way that the public cannot click on them. They have to call you. If you're the owner of the website, they have to call you. That is what's triggering leads. It's beautiful because now, even with exclusive information, the public has to go through a licensed real estate broker and salesperson like yourselves. And you are there to help protect the public. It's wonderful. Let's move on. How else can you join? If you mention it to somebody, this referral program, you'll get $79 off on your renewal fee. If you get additional people to join, you'll actually get three months off for each one. If you got four more people to join during the year, you get an extra year free. That's how that works. And then doing referrals, triggering leads, people calling off your website, you should make money on that. And then of course, when you sell real estate, which is really what it's all about, you've already started to read all the testimonials online. There's over 50 pages of testimonials. In fact, we have a special pledge that every single person should either be doing a deal every 90 days or at the very least, triggering leads that you feel will lead to doing deals. If you're not, then you need to call and make an appointment. And we've got people who did not make money. And I'm going to explain why they did not make money. And for the ones that gave us a chance to work with them, we fixed it. I'm, I'm going to be coming to that here in a moment. How do you go ahead and add listings to the service? Well, basically, I'll show you how quick, fast, and easy it can be done. There's the main website that I do it from. You can do it from others. But when you come here, you're gonna click. There's only two things you do here. You click on search and there's the four searches right there. If I clicked on commercial real estate, you can do this on your phone. And I chose Burlington just for the sake of argument. I can go down to the bottom and I can search the database. And right now there's 140 opportunities to do business. What I am going to do is go back and instead of sorting by age, the latest one first, I'm gonna sort them by price. And I'm gonna click on search database. And there they are from $20 million on down. There's wants, somebody wants a medical building. People wanna, there's different things that people are looking to buy and sell in the greater Toronto area, specifically applicable to Burlington, right there. You're gonna be plugged into that. That's the only thing we ever missed as independent brokers was having a network of brokers that can do this. And we have a saying, you probably agree, that 65% of actually the commercial real estate in North America is being done by independent brokers like ourselves. And yet the bigger brokers, major brokers, they get to play. The interesting thing on these two deals that sold over $50 million on here, there were 14 offers on the one deal. And all the major, the, the, the other brokers in the industry from the Colliers and all the other wonderful companies out there, it was two independents on ICI World that ended up outselling all of that because of the network, the strength of the network going on here. So that's how that's working. Now, if you want to get into keyword searching, if you want to find people that want a condo or, uh, you know, there's all kinds of keyword searches that you can kind of do here for both commercial and 
residential real estate, but I'm not gonna go through all of that. Basically, that's the searching that you would do from time to time. The other thing you will do from time to time only is to click on this member login over here, and you will click on this button over here that says add haves and wants. And so in this particular case here, who had that property that was coming for sale? Somebody had one coming for sale in the next, any kind of property in the room coming for sale in the next one, two, three months? I just wanna show how it goes on. Has, has anybody got a listing that's coming for sale? Okay, can I use you for an example? What's your first name? Andrea. Andrea? Okay, can you give me, I'm just gonna type in, watch how it works. Coming for sale is a hot button on our service. Is this in Burlington? Pardon me? And what kind of property? Detached side split. Okay, and do you know approximately how much it might be? About 900,000? Okay, that's how you do it. That's it, that's simple. Now you're gonna choose Canada, you're gonna choose Ontario, you're gonna choose Greater Toronto, and then you're gonna come down here, find Mississauga, and choose Mississauga. It's a have. Haves are the properties for sale and for lease. Come down here and you'll see all the different categories. In this case, it's residential estates, right there. Under the date, we repeat it. It's a home, it's in Mississauga, and it's approximately 900,000, but we make a little price comment and say the price is approximate, it's coming for sale. When you finally get the listing, they might want more or they might want less if they wanna get going right away, depending on what you do. And then what we usually do is we copy all that information. Oops. And then we put it in the comments area down here. The reason we do that up here, there's actually a limit to the number of characters that you can put in the subject line. This subject line is circulated to 20,000 people daily by email. So in addition to the 18,000 pages we have on the internet, in addition to 2,000 other brokers websites that this will appear on, in addition to all these other things we're doing and all the mobile apps and all of that, um, it is this subject line that people read. People today have a you have to make a decision in about one or two seconds, do you wanna follow up on something? So you should spend time on that subject line, make sure you have these. The beautiful thing about that, when somebody calls you, it's usually a very well qualified call. Why? The reason is it tells you that it's in Mississauga, number one. It tells you it's a home, number two, and it gives you a price, number three. So when somebody calls you, chances are they've just qualified themselves. Interesting. Now you notice we have not put an address in here. That's the key. You do not put an address when it's an exclusive piece of information. It's not listed yet. Down here is an internet links box. I'm gonna click on add link. And there's a link to the city of Toronto. I'm gonna put that link in the ad to help to sell the city of Toronto to the world. The reason is we get people from 138 countries coming here on a regular basis. They know all there is to know about Toronto. But how about Mississauga? Well, I just happen to know that Mazer McCallion um, developed a very special website, Hazel McCallion, pardon me, called investinmississauga.ca. And I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna change Toronto to Mississauga. In my opinion, 90% of the brokers have actually sort of missed the boat a little bit on the internet because what everybody's doing are throwing properties on the internet with no due regard to the location. And when you think about it, the three most important words in real estate are being missed, location, location, location. What does that invest in Mississauga real estate website look like? Well, invest in. And Burlington's got a good website too, by the way. And you should be linking to them because this helps to sell Mississauga to the world. And you'll see, uh, expand, locate, business investment, recent stories, all of this, what's happening in Mississauga. And then if you click on one of these, people in Europe can be seeing this. 
And if I was to even open it right up. Is this still a risk to write like for confidence? Because something really turns me about this as well, but I just have to build into engage can you imagine people listening to this from any place in the world to learn about Mississauga? Isn't that wonderful? Those are the kind of links we suggest that you put into it right into your ads. I think uh, Burlington's got one too. Let's just go have a look at Burlington's. Burlington.ca, I think. Let's see if it's working and how nice that is. There you go. Live and play services for you. Live and play, if I was to click on that. Hopefully they got some nice pictures here that people can see. Look at that, playing hockey. Tonight, by the way, the Leafs are on, eh? First game? Tonight, first game of the NHL? Tonight. Okay, um, Shinny, pick up. I coach kids for a long time, so I really enjoyed it. Um, okay, so that's how it works. Services for you, I usually link to the Economic Development Agency. Do you see it here, Economic Development Agency here someplace? I want the top 10 reasons to locate in Burlington. That's what I'm looking for. Anybody see it there? Maybe business in Burlington, that could be it. Let's see what that is. Mapping, BizPal, live and play. Let me go back to the beginning and see if there's anything here. Economic Development Office. If it's hard to find, I'm gonna suggest that you talk to the mayor and you say, you know, we should have something on the website, the top 10 reasons to locate in Burlington. I've helped a lot of city websites get that onto their website and I'm not spotting it right away, do you? Anybody? I just don't see it. I just don't see an environment, locations, permits, rentals, taxes, Recreations are good, uh, about your city. I'm, so, you can, usually it's Department of Economic Development and I, for some reason, I don't know why. I'm, I'm not seeing it. It's probably here someplace and I can't find it. Top 10 reasons to locate in, um, and even Hamilton's got one, uh, invest in hamilton.ca. Let's take a look at that one, see what they've got. There it is ranks one of the, that's what should be, bingo, it hits you, ranks one of the best Canada's best communities, Hamilton, where innovation goes to work. You know, all of this kind of stuff should be right there. And so I would talk to the website designers and the mayor of uh, Burlington and get them to make that front and center. Why invest in Burlington? Got it? And it could be there, but it's just buried, you know? Uh, you gotta kind of find it. And put that in all your listings. So that goes in the listing, you come down to the bottom of the page, and this is the difference right there. You're gonna see, and we're gonna spend about a minute on this right now, and it could be the biggest minute in your lives if you understand it. If you don't understand it, you can just stick with MLS and that's it. As of today, you are no longer restricted to making money with just MLS. The best way we've all known up till now, I've sat on MLS committees at the Real Estate Association of Hamilton Burlington. I'm a 25 year member there. We are no longer restricted to making money with MLS. You've got all these other ways to make money. So if somebody says, I wanna say property, but I don't wanna give you a listing, it might be a friend of yours or somebody that you know, or it could be anybody here deal with builders? Anybody deal with builders? Okay. If, it, if you're not, go out, talk to a builder and say, can you build a custom home? How much would it cost? You could put it on here right now. Custom home to be built, Burlington, Ontario, $1.4 million, 2,000 square feet. Talk to the builder what it is. You don't have the lot yet. You don't have an actual property yet, but he can build you a custom home. Why not put that on here? You get the call. You make an appointment, you go talk to the builder, then you start looking for a lot and there's no lots. So you got to go to a tear down. <laughs> but the point is it starts things for you. See the beauty of an information service, when you put this information on here, all these are pieces of exclusive information, all of them. The real estate board takes your information and they put it on the MLS and they put it on the internet where there's 4 billion people. Well, guess what? I see how world puts your information on the internet where there's 4 billion people too. 
It's beautiful. We're all on the internet. So somebody can see that piece of information that you've got on behalf of your client. And they call you. What's the first question they're going to ask you? Where is it? What's the address? Are you going to give it to them? No. <laughs> you make a statement. In this particular case, we have to put an agreement in place first. But I should be getting the listing sign in about three weeks. I'll put your name on a list. And once I get the listing sign, you can come through the first open house that I hold. How does that sound? Isn't that wonderful? A piece of information is the gold on the internet. The seminar today, we put diamonds on the floor of a broker's office. I'm saying that the piece of information you have, it might as well be on the floor. It's not doing anybody any good for anything. If you're on the phone, somebody calls you and they say, uh, <clears throat> I'm calling on that property you got advertised and you tell them all about it and they say, well, it doesn't really sound like what I'm looking for. Thanks anyways. And just as they're ready to hang up the phone, what do you say? Okay. Hey, wait a sec. If I could find you what you were looking for, would you like me to call you back? Right? And they say, sure. What are you looking for? Well, between one and 1 1.2 Burlington, my finished rec room, double car garage, ground level family room, like to have a ravine lot, whatever. You mark it down. That becomes a want. On, you can place your want on the service. Up until now, what do you do with that information? I'm asking anybody, tell me. Somebody calls, they leave their name and number. What do you do with that information? Anybody? What do you do? Oh, sorry, back there. Okay, you do a search yourself one on one. Okay. And do you put that person in your database someplace? Yeah. Who said, what was that? <laughs> you definitely put it on ICA world, but up until now, what do you do with that information? Do you have a little database of people? Yeah, you call and you find some, you spend a lot of time searching and, and networking with your. Okay, but you put it in your own database. Yes. And you have a database of people that have a lot of list of things that they're looking to buy and sell. You have people that are looking, if the person that calls you on an ad, if it doesn't suit them, you now have their name and number. Where do you write that number down? Where do you put it? I put it on the scraps of paper. <laughs> <laughs> put, I, I missed that, what did you say? Scraps of paper. Scraps, I agree with you. That You're absolutely right. It's on a scrap of paper, okay? You write it on a scrap of paper, right? And it just on the floor. That's where I get diamonds on the floor of a broker's office. That's where they come. I'm saying pick this paper up. Place that want on ICI World. Get your database working on the internet where there's four billion people. If you sell a property for a million dollars and you only get two and a half percent, that's twenty-five thousand bucks. How big a diamond can you buy? That's all about. Okay, I'm trying to give you the picture of doing that. So yeah, I have fun. I try to have a little fun doing that kind of stuff. Who's this? I don't know where I got that from. Okay, so we go ahead and we add this listing. What does it look like? Well, I'm not gonna add it because it's not real yet, but I am gonna click on the left-hand side, something that says latest world residential. And you can see all of these uh, properties starting to come in. Can you see them there? And there's an example of one coming for sale in Brampton. Let's click on that. Coming for sale in Brampton, $650,000. It's a townhouse. It's about 10 years old, close to the GO station, finished rec room. There it is. And if you want to learn about Brampton, click on All About Brampton, and bingo, up comes information on Brampton. Simple, straightforward, worldwide. Interesting? OK, let's move on. How about commercial? Latest world commercial, I'm gonna click on that. Uh, wanted, somebody wants plans for an approved condo project. Here's a retirement home. There's all kinds of different properties that are in here. 
And uh, if somebody is interested in one of these, all they have to do is click on it. And bingo, there's the information. No addresses, no addresses. Now, I'd like to ask everybody a question. How many people here advertise in a newspaper still from time to time? Anybody? Okay, when you did used to advertise in a newspaper, did you put addresses in your listings on, in the newspaper? Not, not talking about open houses. You put addresses? You put, ad you put addresses? Okay. Are there people in this room that did not put addresses? I'm sort of recommending against addresses. The reason is people can drive by the property, right? Now, they may not try to go direct to the owner, but maybe they go by it and maybe they see something across the street they don't like and you don't even get a call. You don't even have a chance to work with them. I'm suggesting you don't put an address that you use the newspaper to trigger a lead. They might not like that particular address, but at least now you're talking with them and it gives you a chance to work with them. If I could find something that suits you, would you like me to call you back? In other words, triggering leads to do deals is what we're suggesting can actually is good to do. In the case of commercial real estate, if somebody uh, is interested in a particular building and they say, well, I got it on MLS, I'm protected. Does an MLS listing have an expiry date? Is it, has anybody ever tried to go after you've had the listing, you've done a lot of work on the property, you've advertised it, you've done everything you could, it hasn't sold yet, and then the listing expires and they won't give you another listing. Has that ever happened to anybody? I wonder why. Is it possible that somebody spoke to the owner during the term of the listing and says, uh, by the way, when the listing expires, if you don't mind, I'd like to come back and talk to you without the realtor. Is that possible? Yeah. yeah. They don't even wait for that. They just there. Go, yeah, <laughs> there, there, there you go. <laughs> what I'm suggesting is that you use ICI World, you use newspapers, you use other forms of advertising to trigger a lead during the term of the listing identify the person who it is that you're talking to during the term of the listing. And then if you want to give them the address, at least know who you're talking to. So if they try to come back after the expiry date, you know who it is that buys it and use the carryover provision. Everyone understand? Let's move on. So that's how that works. Okay, let's move on. Never let your listings go longer than 90 days on an ICI world. I was telling you before, some people have not made money on their service, why not? One of them is they've let their listings go longer than 90 days old. And on the mobile apps, when you search anything on ICI world, these listings are less than 90 days old, all of them being displayed. You're getting fresh information, every one of you, when you search. But the people that are on ICI world that have let their listings go longer than 90 days old, their listings are not showing up here <laughs> and they might still be valid. So you've got to refresh your listings at 30 to 60 days is what we recommend and never let them go longer than 90 days old. Let's move on. Uh, for assistance, training and support, do not leave today without making an appointment. If you decide to come aboard, we'd love to work with you and look forward to your first deal. And then 10 minutes before your time, <clears throat> you just go to the main website. I'll just show it to you here. And up at the top, you'll see here at icirworld.com, which is a site that started in 1994. It's the longest running real estate website on the internet on the planet Earth today. There was only four people on the internet in 1994 doing real estate. And we were one of them. We didn't know where things were gonna develop. We're still learning. And I have a thing that we say, some of the older fellows, the more you learn, the more you find out you don't know. It's just amazing. I'm just learning things new every, every day, every day. So that, that works. Okay. And uh, the orientation, anybody that does join, I have a special package that is a pilot's checklist for a broker, how to do everything on ICI World. 
you don't leave without this and also making an appointment. Let's move on. Now, what I'm about to show you next, uh, let's just go here. Um, training and support. We have a, a YouTube channel with about 200 videos. If you do go to ICIWorld.tv, look up the video for the Oakville and Milton Real Estate Board. We were there last month, and there's a recording there that you can kind of listen to. And we have a special pledge that, oopsie daisy, sorry, a special pledge. No one should go longer than 90 days without either doing business or triggering leads to do business. There's just 4 billion people out here. So this seminar is um, working out real good. We're doing more and more of them. We're even doing webinars worldwide. We're a Remax office in British Columbia, right from this computer, talking, and then they were able to display it right on the screen in their office. It's wonderful the way you can do things. Um, now, I'm not gonna cover these in the essence of time, um, but to let you know that these are some of the most used apps on people's phones. The Evernote app that you see there is used by more people on the internet, literally millions and millions of people. I use it all the time, absolutely wonderful. I click on it, every note, anything I think of, I used to wake up in the middle of the morning, three o'clock in the morning, think of a great idea, I says, oh, I got to write that down. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, I couldn't remember what the heck it was. Couldn't remember. Does that happen to anybody? All of us, <laughs> some of us. Okay. Now, I mark it down. I click on the Evernote app, and then I can click on the plus sign and say it's a text message and bingo. I can say, mark this one. I just click on the little microphone and say, mark this wonderful idea down that I should be doing this, this, or this, or whatever. And there it is. It actually puts it right in there. And then I save it and bingo, I've got the note. Yeah, if called? It's called Evernote. Evernote. Uh, there, all kinds of people are using one of the most used apps in the world. And my brain, I, I couldn't remember all the things that I've got in Evernote now. But if I want to search something, I have tags, little tags that I can search on things. And I can go into Evernote, I can click on the tag and put in my keyword that I can remember. And bingo brings up my notes on that particular subject. So when I was doing this uh, presentation in Washington, I had all my notes. I didn't know where I go here. And I just put in NAR, N -A -R, bingo, it brought me to all my notes. And I was able to make a presentation right there on the spot, stuff that I had prepared for the previous month, right at my fingertips because of Evernote. You can send emails to Evernote. You can take pictures. You can send newspaper articles. You see an article that you're reading. You can actually send it to Evernote. That's the one and uh, it's a fabulous program. And the more you study, the more you learn about it, the more you're gonna find out all oh, gets better and better and better and better all the time. Question, how many people here are having trouble with uh, remembering passwords? Okay, there's a program that I'm using. Now it doesn't matter almost which program you use, but you should have a program that remembers your password. But you better remember the password to the password program or you're gonna not be able to get into it. <laughs> Okay, I use this one. The reason I like it is if I forget passwords, and I have about 220 of them, passwords for different things developing this service over the years, I can go to the, my one spot here and I can open up my password program and put in my one password and it'll give me all my other passwords right away. What I like about it, it's on my phone, it's on my laptop, I can log into any place into it to get my passwords. Now, the next one is called Dropbox. Question for everyone in the room. If you, lost, if you lost your computer today, are you in trouble? Yes. Okay, hang on, hold that thought, hold, hold that thought. A lot of people are in trouble here. I'm gonna ask you why you said no. Okay, tell me about your backup, this is good. There you go, iCloud. In other words, Dropbox right here, it's almost, this was before they had the cloud. I've still got it, but it's like the cloud. The cloud is all the information on this computer here, as soon as I type something in, it's backed up in Dropbox immediately, instantly. So if this computer crashed on the floor or it got stolen, I can ask you a favor. Do you mind if I log into Dropbox? I wanna bring up this PowerPoint. Within five to 10 minutes, I can be back up and running right here. 
all my information is stored up in the cloud. Now he's using iCloud, iCloud. Who else uses a backup program, a cloud program? Anybody? Can you tell me which one you're using? Okay. Okay, good. You don't know the name of it. Anybody know the name of theirs? Which one? Google Docs. Okay, Google Docs, every document that you have, you can save it in Google Docs. <clears throat> and what you can do in Google Docs, you can make it a little, it's a little icon you can put at the top of when you open Google Chrome. And you can just click on Google Docs, it opens all your documents right off the internet, pulls it up on the screen. You save it, it saves it right back. It's beautiful. Google Docs, good one. Anybody else? Google Docs, iCloud. Dropbox, those are some good solutions for you because losing your computer, <clears throat> it's terrible. In the olden days, olden days, in the 90s, um, one appraiser who worked for two years on the computer, saving all kinds of scads of information every day, he says, <clears throat> I'm not worried, I've got it backed up. And then when the problem happened, all computers will crash sooner or later. They just, they're gonna get wiped out sooner or later. It happens, it just, they're gonna go bad. His went bad and he says, oh, I got the backup. His backup didn't work. Two years of work that he had labored putting information in there. Well, now the way they have the cloud, it's all instant, it's stored and it's safe up there in the cloud. Make sure you have your stuff backed up. Now you don't back up programs, you just back up your information. You save your PDF files, your documents, all of that kind of stuff, your database, but you don't save the actual Excel program that run, runs things or Word, because you can install those things to a computer from your from the beginning. What else is the information here? Well, you can study the rest of these on your own time and uh, go check them out. And if you ever have, know, let me know, but I view, I use them all from time to time on various things. What else is there? Okay, realtor.ca. Ah. How many people here have an income website? Income. One. Just one? Two. That's it? Two. Okay. Um, right at Home has a special deal with income. We supply income websites. And I'm going to show you why we think it's a good website to have. How many people in this room have a website, period? How many people in this room do not have a website? Okay, so we have solutions for you who don't have websites. And for the people that do have websites, I'm gonna show you special widgets. The widgets are these things here. You'll know, read about this. This is Sparky. I, we call them Sparky. And Sparky, are the leads that other brokers have agreed to allow them to be on your website. We call them widgets. Widgets are really links to listings. They're IDX links to listings that can come up on your website. But let's show you about the special website arrangement that Right at Home actually has with income. And the best way to do that, I think, okay, I'll just bring up this particular one right here. And I'm going to I've got them all right on the front page of this one. And let me see if I can bring it up here nicely. Okay. Dot CA, let's see if this comes up. Here we go. Here's an example of an income website. There it is there. You can recognize that, the people that have them. Okay. Now, what's so special about this website? Well. When you want to find property, all websites have MLS. So if I was to click on find property or search, and if I click on search, you can put in any city you want and you can do things and it brings up the map and that's cool. But there's something very special about this, similar to realtor.ca. Is there anyone in this room that does not have realtor.ca? Anyone? Everyone got it? And you know you can click on your phone and say homes near me, right or wrong? Right, watch this. 
This is the geolocator feature. This is the first website that I know of that you can have. And when you click on show your location, I'm gonna click on it. It goes around and around. And it's supposed to ask, there it is. There's where we are in Burlington right now. I've just showed my location. And if I was to click on, let's say this one here and come down here and click on this home, Sparling Crescent, is that around here? Burlington, anybody recognize? It's Sparling Crescent, Burlington. It's not far from here, put it that way. $807,000, your name and phone number will be there. People can actually drive around in their car, pull up, your website on their phone. How does it look like on their phone? I'll even show another one. This is another right at home realtor. In fact, I have a way to bring this right up on the screen. Let's do it. This is homes near me. They can do it with your website. Would you like people to have your website, drive around on Sunday, looking at open houses, click on the homes near me and have homes come up and then if they want more information on that home, your name and number are right there to call. Would you like that? Those are tools that we're constantly searching out for all our members to really work for you. Now, let's see how it works on the mobile phone. Let's see how it works. I can switch over to actually show my mobile phone on the screen. Let's see if I can do it. Right click, make presenter on this phone and are you sure you want to make your as a presenter say yes okay now on this oh i'm not i'm going to decline that i'm going to go here i'm going to go to the uh the uh the go to meeting there it is there and no camera screens are being shared i got to figure out how to do this okay click on that go to meeting will start now showing i'm going to click on start and bingo, up comes my phone right there. Isn't that interesting? And I'm gonna go to the main screen. So there it is. Now I made a little um, sort of a folder with all websites in it. And when I click on that folder, I opened up, these are all right at home websites. And I'm gonna click on the second one and up comes the right at home website. Okay, there it is. You can see what it looks like. And if I went right to the bottom, you should be able to see right at home down at the bottom. Oh boy, not here. There it is, right at home. It says it right, right there, right at home Realty Inc. Okay, now if I go back, open it up again, you're going to see what I call a hamburger bun. This is the three lines up here. So on a mobile device, that's what you have to click on to see what's going on. And I'm gonna click on it. And up comes featured listings, fine property, et cetera. So somebody can have your website. They drive around and they click on find property and they come down here and they search. And this third button, and sometimes you have to teach your customers to click on that button right there. And when they do, it says, wants to use your device's location, I'm gonna allow it. This comes up on their screen. So they're in their car with your website on their screen, and maybe they drive over to one of these houses and they click on it. Maybe it's not that house. I don't know how to move this up and down. Hang on, oopsie daisy. Click on there again and click on that i wonder how i can bring that up showing five listings well how come it's not showing five? Oh, next ah geez try it again got to get used to this too okay. and there's the next button next there it is there's one on uh, holy hill crescent anybody recognize that yet and what does it do you can set it up that it captures the information, their contact information, or you can display the home. By the way, this website also has VOW listings. Anybody know what VOW is? 
Those are the listings that other brokers have agreed to share with you, but they don't want them shared to the public. But they're here. If somebody logs in and you get their name and number, then they can see them. This is lead capture. This is lead generation. This is top of the line website that's doing a lot of the latest, most wonderful things here. Let me try to click on and click on that home. Get in, I'm sorry? It's part of the Inman website, everything I'm showing you. Yeah. Okay, so now I wanted to show you how other homes can come up. Let me go to somebody else's website. I'm gonna do another right at home realty website here. And you'll see that one from Mohammed. You, I can go down and show you the whole page and all that stuff. But one of the things I wanted to show this website was something special called exclusive real estate. Now, the exclusive real estate comes from where? ICI. ICI. That's right. So when you're a member, we are going to install that on your website. What does it look like? Well, let's click on it. It can be on any web. You're absolutely right. Doesn't have to be income. You could have IH and website for realty or web for realty and all these other companies in the business. You're going to get those links if and when you were theoretically to join. So up comes all these exclusive listings, and I'll click on the world residential. And up comes this form. Does anybody recognize this form from searching on the app? It's exactly the same. So now when somebody wants to search, let's say they click on uh, Canada, and let's say they click on Ontario, and let's say they click on Greater Toronto, and they come down here, and maybe they can click on Burlington too. And why don't we change it? Instead of looking at the wants, we just want to look at the haves. And I think I'll just sort them by price and see if anything comes up. There's some that come up right there. Trendy location, a new condo. There it is there. And let's say somebody is interested in that one from searching your website. My question to you and all of you is, if somebody tries to click on that, and I'm trying to click on it, but I can't click on it. So question for everyone. If this is your website, and this is your website, and nobody can click on that number, who do they have to call? Give me a high five. Hard. Bingo. Give me a high five. Isn't this wonderful? High fives to everyone. This is triggering leads for everybody. I think it's wonderful. What else? You, you couldn't ask for anything better. So you need the MLS. You don't give up MLS. You have them both. And if somebody wants to see one of those and they can't click on it, they have to call you for more information. So when Joe's optional, it shows like yeah, people will try to click on that number. So they, can open that up they can't. They can. they can only see the subject line, not the contact information. They have to contact you for more information. Okay, so they can get that far. In they can get that far to see what everything is on your now, website. Now this is show up for the right there, I'm showing it to you. Just like that. That's right. And now here's, we were talking about some other things. Go to another one. Here's another lady, Christine Copeland. There she is. I click on that hamburger button and I click on um, exclusive. And there's all the exclusive listings that come on the page. And let's say you're talking to a lawyer and he's interested to buy an apartment building. Would you like to have 200 apartment buildings on your website? Would you like that? Okay, so I'm gonna click on Ontario Commercial and this is what comes up on the screen. Now, one thing I could do is choose the city that I'm interested in, click on Burlington and do a search and bingo, all, these, all this information starts to come up on the screen. And this one here is a coming for sale uh, profit making fish and chip business. Isn't that neat? Now, if somebody is interested in that, they can't click on it. They have to call you. Isn't that wonderful? This is a no brainer in my mind why everybody should have this. 
You know when you put your phone when they call you the screw man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's what that's a good no, that's a good question. Stay I hope you're gonna I hope you're gonna wait for the answer. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, it looked like you were going. You tell them this is exclusive information. This is not on MLS. It works differently. And because there's no signed listing on there, maybe, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. We don't know until you call them that we don't even have permission it's actually against the rules so if you don't want to look at them and it's frustrating for you don't call us on them you could tell them that theoretically <laughs> but if you're interested if you're interested enough but i'm going to tell you now if people are sincere about being serious about that this is going to weed out the tire kickers the curiosity seekers the time wasters the fraud artists it's going to get rid of them all you're only going to get serious people you're only going to get serious people that that are interested question so whoever looking for that you must have your website and then you can find right yeah how we can how we can encourage them to use our website there we go everybody whatever i do a seminar worldwide that question comes up in every single seminar it's it's and you're the lucky one that did it and it's the shortest little question that i ever get with the longest answer uh, <laughs> but I'm going to keep it short okay. and I'm going to show and I'm going to give the not only am I going to give everyone in this room the answer but I'm going to help you get $100 towards advertising free would you like that sure. would you all like that $100 coming your way are you all ready just by coming to this seminar you're picking up $100 I'm telling you now I'm not kidding watch Mark this down, mark this down on your uh, PowerPoint there or on your presentation someplace. <laughs> here we go, hang on. I'm gonna go back to my computer here and I'm gonna go to ICI World. And one of the things you're gonna see along the iciworld.com is this one here called seminar. Can everybody see that? Right there, it's called seminar. I'm going to click on it. And what does this say? Money making real estate concepts and tech tools for brokers. You do not have to join to get this. This you can go and see it anytime you wish. And there's four recorded webinars. Now, today's session, how are you going to remember everything that we did today? You can't remember it all. It's just a lot of stuff coming your way and you're saying, "Oh my god, how do I figure this all out?" Well, We've recorded other seminars to go over it. And there they are. There's four of them. Here's one here. You just have to click on the word play. On this one here, orientation, how to get started on ICI World. Along with this is a step-by-step -step instruction, how to get started. Once you know how to do it, it's a one-time learning curve. That's it. How to work exclusive real estate information. And we're coming up to the most important part of today's session. It's coming up in the next five, 10 minutes. But what does this say right here? Anybody, uh, hang on, see if I can make it bigger. How's that, can you read that now? How to promote your website, you should mark that down. At the end, I'm gonna click on play. And when I click on play, you're gonna see you open up. And at the end of this video, it shows you how to get $100 of free advertising. Okay. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah. Getting quotes, searching and optimization is more, and also how to get to the top of Google literally within 48 hours if you want. Did you hear that? Get to the top of Google within 48 hours. And I'm announcing it. You're going to get 75 to $100 of free advertising, just like that. Now, to listen to this thing, it's not like dancing with the stars. It's not like those beautiful television programs and they're dancing in lovely and beautiful costumes and everything else. It's straight, dry information but it's money-making information. How to get your 
people that go to your website, that's just dry information how to get there. Start putting in using Facebook and use all these different tools. You're going to learn about that. And how did I learn about them? Well, I got several hundred members on this service. And when I read about these world search engine conventions where all these uh, geeks, by the way, geek is a term that a lot of computer people like. It shows that they know have a lot of knowledge. I went to the World Search Engine Convention basically on your behalf, honest to God, because why should you spend $4,000, $4,000, $4,000 just to go learn how to promote your website? I figured I'm going to go down on behalf of all of you. I'll spend the money on behalf of all of you, and then I'll put it in this video so that you can have it. I spent $4,000 learning information that's in this video, and it's there but it's an hour and 40 right away. You say, Oh my God, I'm not going to listen to this for an hour and 40 minutes, but I put it there anyways. I, whether you listen to it or not, it's there. Okay. That's what I learned. I learned the top 10 things that you should do to your website. I'll give you an example of just one thing. Who's got their own domain name? Anybody? You got a domain name. Who else has got a domain name? you got a domain name. Okay. Let's say that your two websites are exactly the same look and the same everything. Just pretend they're exact, but you have your domain name. You have your domain name. If you register your domain name for 10 years, sorry, is that something we can all know? I'm trying to see how to ask about Oh, yeah? Okay. But if maybe you should ask it so we can all hear. Uh, if you could register your domain name for 10 years and you've only registered for one year, who does Google give a little more flavor to get up to the top? Who? The one with 10 years. That's a tip. You didn't know that before today. I didn't know that. But I'm telling you, the it's called from Google. They call the word algorithms. Have you ever heard of that word algorithms? Algorithms is a mathematical calculation of how to get your website up higher than her website. What did you do more special than her? I'm telling you now, people, if you don't have a mobile website, a mobile website, you're going right down the drain. Mobile websites, they're going to be given more um, favor to come up in the search engines. Okay? So there's not just this one thing in the mobile. There's more things, and there, you're going to learn about them in that video. Okay? Now, who would like to get to the top of the search engine in 48 hours? Okay, I'll just speak to you. You're not interested? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is important stuff. You want to put money in the purse? You've got to learn some of this stuff. Let's talk about that. It's called pay-per-click. Has anybody heard of that? All right, now I have a question for each and every one of you. Let's say that you set a budget of $200 a month for the next three months. You're going to experiment. You're going to say, I'm going to experiment, see what happens. And you call Google AdWords and uh, you pay $200 and you say, I'm going to pay a buck a click. If somebody searches Burlington Real Estate or Burlington Homes for Sale, I want my website to come up first at the top. And they're going to ask you, how much do you want to pay per click? And that's how Google makes all their money from all of us. They pit you against you against you. They pit you all against each other. So you might bid $1.25, but if you really want to be higher than her, you've got to go $1.50. But he knows about it, so he goes $1.80. The next thing you know, you're up to $2 and $3 and $4 pay per click, each click. Now, your website, when somebody searches Burlington real estate or Burlington homes for sale, your website comes up. There's no charge. There's no charge. It's free. It's free. Your website can come up free. But if somebody clicks on it, that's when you get charged off your budget. If you bid, say you bid $1 a click and somebody clicked on your website, and you were bidding 200 or you were budgeting 200 a month, how much left after one click? $199 is left. 
you better tell Google that's the limit. Because if you had a thousand clicks and you didn't have a limit, how much would a thousand clicks cost you? A thousand dollars. And some people have had to pay it because they didn't put a stop. If it gets to 200, that's it. I don't want to spend any more. And so I had some brokers that did that. And one broker, it was in Kingston, Kingston Real Estate. Um, he said, Google told him he was getting lots and lots and lots of hits. And uh, he wasn't getting any calls. And he wondered why. So he called me and I see if I could help. And you know what we found out? People were searching Kingston, okay, but they were searching Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> and so people go to his website and they think they're at a Kingston, Jamaica website on the internet in Google, but the only way to find out is to click on it. One buck just got charged. All that money for three months he was spending down the drain. So I'm a broker, you're a broker and salespeople. If you're spending 200 bucks a month, and if you're not getting any calls, would you say there's something wrong? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I would stop right there, just stop. I don't wanna spend another penny until I find out what's wrong. Here's another way it went wrong. Um, Burlington Real Estate, if somebody searches the word estate, because maybe they're trying to figure out how to make out their will, and your Burlington Real Estate website comes up, is that useless to that person? Yeah, but it cost you a buck. So you have to get exact match keyword. There's four choices that Google gives you. Sometimes they don't tell you about that one. Why? Because this one makes more money for them. Question. How do you find out what's wrong? You said, okay, you stop. And how do you find out like things? Well, how, okay. We have a pledge on ICI World. If you're not triggering leads or doing deals, 90 days, there's something wrong if you're not getting any leads. How do you find out what's wrong? In my case, on our service, you call me. Okay. okay, and then I'm gonna help analyze the membership and see what it is that you're missing. In the case of Google, you call Google, but I'll tell you, I'm talking to my members so much now that they're getting me, I set up a conference call, you, me, and Google. Let's go together, let's go talk to them and see, and talk about your website. Why is she not getting the leads that you should be getting? Because if you're in Burlington and you got Burlington listings, you should be getting call on some of those Burlington listings. You're covering all the price ranges. You should be getting some calls. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, if you're not getting calls, there's something wrong. So I would get on the phone and we did. We got on the phone to Google and it was the exact matches. I says, okay, I know they're suggesting long tail names. Okay. They have all these words for everything which you could maybe get traffic, but maybe a lot of the traffic has nothing to do with real estate. And you're paying for that? No, just I want people that are interested to buy real estate. And so we changed the keywords to exact matches. Big difference. Okay, that's just the opening up so you can get your mind thinking about how this works. And we help you with that stuff. Okay, let's move on. So you can learn that in that particular video, which is free for you to learn. As a matter of fact, you can pick up $100 and learn more about it. And anybody see my glasses? Right there. Okay, thank you. Heard the person that uh, they saw spots from their eyes and they got glasses. Now they see their spots clearer. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay, we're gonna to start to wind down here in a moment. Where is it here? Oh yes, here we go. Okay, so in your uh, PowerPoint presentations that you all have, you can go through all these other websites, top commercial real estate websites. There's our instructor lineup. If I wasn't here, one of these instructors there, they've all got a big heart for everyone in the real estate industry. 
that was information on myself we've covered. We've covered the highest return on investment on any service, any industry on the internet. It's for real estate because one lead can make you a lot of money. And we've got all kinds of people that are making money from this particular service. Now this, this uh, statistic is important that only of all the people that are trying to sell properties by themselves privately, only 9% sold without an agent, which means that 91% sold with an agent. So all those private for sales that you see out there, they're getting sold by brokers and salespeople like yourselves. And we're gonna show you how to get, how to work with them. Is there anybody here that's tried to work with for sale by owners? Anybody at all? Nobody tries to work with for sale by owners? Have you tried to work them in the past and not had success? Anybody? Okay, we're gonna turn that around on a dime right now before your very eyes. Are you ready? Here we go. Um, by the way, ICI World's got these 30,000 listings, 75% exclusive. I'm not gonna go through all of these right now. I'm just gonna get right to the meat of the matter. 40,000 monthly readership, 20,000 subscribers, 1,500 brokers advertising and displaying your listings, 18,000 pages on the internet. And we do seminars, real estate boards, Mississauga, Brampton, Toronto, Oshawa, just all over. And for, oh, by the way, that is the uh, Toronto Realtor Quest. You can see everything in the background over there. And our booth is one of the busiest at the booth, at the show. But when we come how to work real estate exclusive information, there's a special way to do it. And there's lots of opportunity for you to do it, all kinds of opportunity. And we're now going to show you. Does anybody recognize this gentleman? Okay. It's, Bill wrote a book, I think it was in a, about four years after we started, that just reinforced everything that we were doing. And it was called a book at the speed of thought. If you can take something out of your brain and put it on the internet, like somebody that saddles people can relate to it and go buy saddles. And people have sold a lot of saddles for horses on the internet, <laughs> anything. In real estate, a property coming for sale is just a thought. Now, if you're going on a listing presentation today yourself, that's just the thought, I'm going to get a listing. Or I've got a listing coming for sale on Monday, they asked me to come over and list a house. That's a thought. There's lots of thoughts in real estate that are not on the Toronto Real Estate Board or any board. It's that that I'm excited about on this service. Yes, you can advertise your regular real estate board list. In one respect, it's like classified ads in a newspaper in one respect. You post your ad, somebody calls you, go show the property and make some money, simple. And so that's how this service actually got started. And one of the first words that Bill Gates, when he was speaking to Warren Buffett, he talked about that the cost to publish your information and getting your message out worldwide to people in 138 countries, it's fantastic. I had one broker in Western Canada in the, in the, in the 90s spent $50,000 to get his industrial buildings spread out across Canada and he got more leads from ICI World than he did from doing all those brochures, $50,000. That's what he told me. So it's really almost zero. And we did it with this corporate card. We're making it free for you actually with the corporate card. If you use this card and get discounts, it's gonna save you more than even the price of membership. So it doesn't make any difference anymore. It's a world service. You can get your information out there to the world. That's everything we designed to do has been to do that. Now, FISBOs, exclusive listings, builders, expired listings coming for sale. Let me ask you a question. If an owner of a restaurant wants to sell his restaurant, does he put it on MLS? They do. Why would they, why would they not want to put it on MLS? They don't want everybody to know the restaurant is for sale because there could be a problem. Maybe there's a problem in the kitchen or something. They could be bad for business, could it not? Maybe the employees are gonna start leaving. They're gonna say, oh, business, I better get a new job. It could be a big problem. 
in Lake Tahoe. You can go skiing at the top of Lake Tahoe on one day and go swimming in the water on the same day. All the movie stars, a lot of the movie stars that have those beautiful homes in the mountains, they don't want their homes on MLS. They've got beautiful furnishing, Van Gogh paintings and statues, all kinds of things in their home. They don't want them plastered all over the internet. A lot of people want things done more exclusively. You find the right buyer, I don't mind sharing the information, but I don't want to just put it out there for every thief and Tom, Dick and Harry in the world to see. Some people think like that. So if anybody ever says to you starting today that I want to sell my property, but I do not want to give you a listing at this time, but if you bring me a buyer, I will pay you a commission, get your cameras out and take a picture of these three questions. Those three questions has helped one broker make a million dollars. All kinds of members on our service make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. The first question is, Will you pay me a commission if I bring you a buyer? So if you ask a person, a daycare center, if I brought you in a full price for your daycare center, if I brought you in a full price for your motel, if I brought you in a full price for your condo, would you pay me a commission? Does anybody in this room have a problem with that question? Nobody does. The second question is, Will you give me a 48 hour exclusive listing to show your property once I have a buyer? Even though we have 30,000 exclusive listings on ICI World up here, it does not mean that we don't put an exclusive agreement in place first before showing the property or before divulging the address of the property to someone. Never show a property without having an agreement in place first. Does everyone agree or disagree? Agree, very good. And then the third question is, may I advertise your property, but I'm going to do it without the address? Got it? Okay, okay. I, I'm going to do it without the address. Now, I'm gonna shut that off for a second. So I had some brokers that did not make any money on our service. They didn't make money. And I asked them, why not? And I asked them, do you have some listings? He says, yeah. So I went and I looked at his listings. And would you believe he had addresses and all those listings that were not listed? What are people doing? They're going to the owner. They're tricking that you don't know it. But I'm telling you now, there's an ocean of people on the internet. And in the ocean, there's a lot of sharks. And the sharks are swimming around our service, looking for you to maybe make a mistake by saying something's for sale and then telling people what it is, and then they go direct. So you've got to be careful to protect your information. So what's the first question? I asked him, what's the question you're asking people? And he says, well, and this is another person. He called me up saying, Gary, I'm not making any money on your service. So I asked him, what are the three questions? He says, well, the first one is I'm asking them for a listing on the property. I'm asking them for a 48 hour exclusive listing. Is that one of the questions? Yes. How many people say yes? How many people say no? How many people don't know? The rest don't know. There's a big difference for a 48 hour exclusive listing. They just finished telling you they don't want to give you a listing. So don't ask them for a listing. They just told you they don't want to give you a listing, but I'll pay you a commission if you bring me in a buyer. The second question is, once I have a buyer, will you give me a 48 hour exclusive listing? We went one year learning this, why some brokers didn't make money. That's why I now put it in red printing and black printing so that you know that there's two parts to each question. If you only ask, will you give me a 48 hour exclusive listing to show the property? What's the person gonna say? They're gonna say, no, you're right. But if you say, once I have a buyer, what are they gonna say? Yeah. And what if I, if you just say, would you pay a commission? They, they just want to say no because they think you're asking for a listing. 
but you say, if I bring a buyer, will you do it? Now, if you don't add without disclosing the address down here, if you asked a restaurant owner, will you give me verbal permission to advertise your restaurant? They're going to say no. But if you tell them you're going to do it without disclosing the address, without naming the restaurant, I'm just going to say something like, Mississauga restaurant, $350,000 making money. Well, if you say it that way, nobody knows which restaurant it is. That's okay. Now, why do we do this without disclosing the address? This is the reason why, Rico. A registrant shall not include anything in an advertisement that could reasonably be used to, the key word is identify the property, specific real estate, unless the owner has consented in writing, okay? So if you don't have a signed listing, you can put it on ICI World, but you must not give the address or identify the property. So you get the information, and the first thing that people do when they call you on an ad on ICI World is, they ask you for the address. So what do you say? You can say in this particular case, we have to put an agreement in place. But if you like, I can show it to you on Saturday. You come to my office and I'll make arrangements for you to see it. And then the day before you go get yourself an exclusive listing to show the property. There's a lot of money to be made in this business doing this. We've been doing it now for 24 years. It's it off with commercial real estate but it applies to residential big time. There's assignments in the business. There's VIP condos coming for sale. All that kind of stuff, you can put it on here now. Let's move on. Coming for sale. When people call you, they ask you for the address, you say in this particular case, we have to put an agreement in place first. But once I get the listing signed, I'll give you a call. You can be one of the first people through the open house. Does this particular advertisement give this restaurant away? How many people say yes? How many people say no? No is correct. And the rest don't know? Can you tell which restaurant this is from this ad? No. So you can do this. And you should write the ad out and show it to your owner. Burlington restaurant, $350,000, making money. You can do that stuff. But if I said it was at the corner of uh, here, Ontario and Dundas Street, does that give it away? And why do you think it gives it away? You're giving it a location. What if there's three restaurants there? They can go to all three restaurants. How long would it talk for somebody to talk to three restaurant owners at a corner? How long? half an hour and it, half an hour, 15, 20 minutes. So in other words, if it's $350,000 and the commission is 10%, that's what it is for businesses. You might wanna learn how to do businesses. $35,000, if you told them it's at the corner, they can go around, find which one it is and end up dealing direct. And they are gonna think that they're saving $35,000. Let's go to the next one. Does this particular ad give it away? Toronto Triplex, no. If I said it's at the corner of Ossington and Bloor next to the Pizza Pizza, does it give it away? Yes. <laughs> okay, Oakville, four bedroom, two story home, doesn't give it away, right? Let me give you another one. Lindsay, Esso gas station, does it give it away? How many people say yes? How many people say no? How many people don't know? The rest that don't raise their hand don't know. It actually does, who said give, it gives it away? And what do you say? There's only one gas station in Lindsay that says so. <laughs> yeah, so how would you advertise something like that? What you could say is 
branded gas station 90 minutes to Toronto. Got it? If you have troubles doing this, who can you ask? Yes. <laughs> Good show. You make sure. This, does this give it away? No. Yep. Why? Because there's only one that's that big in Brantford, right? <laughs> How about this one here? Brantford Retail Plaza, 500,000. Does that give it away? Actually, it's pretty small. It probably doesn't. They, they probably have lots of the small ones, right? Neighborhood shopping places. Okay. The real estate widgets that you can add to your website, I think we've already displayed those. In other words, if somebody comes to your website, would you like them to have the choices of, uh, on your website? And I'm just gonna show another website. It doesn't matter. These go on all websites in the world. And um, you can see that it says exclusive. Isn't that wonderful to have all these on your website? The moment you install them on your website, the moment they can begin working, they're activated as soon as they're installed on your website. So if people come down here and click on theoretically business, they could end up seeing all these businesses on your website. And if they're interested in a restaurant, they can click on restaurants. And this is why I say it's good for you to know this because you could be talking to the owner of a restaurant. Look at all the restaurants that are on your website. Isn't that wonderful? Now, if somebody is interested in an apartment building on your website, people can come to your website, click on exclusive, and they can go to Ontario Commercial, and you're going to teach people to do this as well, and you tell them to click on apartment buildings under the haves, apartment buildings, click on it, and bingo, there's over 297 apartment buildings from $90 million on down. You tell me if that isn't incredible. And if somebody's interested in this fiveplex right here in Toronto for 1.29 million, they're gonna to try to click on that number and they cannot do it, they have to call you. This is incredible people. There's no other service in the world doing this that I know of. Yep. I'm sorry? I'll go up this way. Okay. And then if I was to go back, you can see now I'm going to stay here as long as anybody wants today too. If, if you want to get started, I'm here to kind of help us. All right, so that's how these exclusive buttons. By the way, we also have the FISBOS. The FISBOS for Britain, I'm going to show you what they are. We have a separate database that allows the public to post information free. But the only people that can click on these FISBOS are the member brokers. And there they are. These are all applicable to Burlington, by the way, all of these listings. So they just search Burlington. Mostly wants, looks like. Okay. So these are the FISBOs that we allow people to have. And these can trigger leads from your website as well. Now, before you all leave and I wrap up, can you please take the evaluation form and just take one minute to fill in the evaluation form that each of you should have? Okay. Yes. Where you bring the paper and the numbers? Yes. Where they take right. When I'm on it, I log in and I click, oh, I want to see three one five one. Yeah, you'll get the full name, contact information. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're going to have access to 100% of everything because you're going to be a member, right? Oh, Incom is a website company. They just supply websites. ICI World is a, is a society of real estate brokers and salespeople who are networking for information. We're the ones with the database, not Incom. Income has the website. Websites are like a store, but you can put our information on your in your store. Okay, we're just like ML MLS is a service. They supply listings from other brokers. We supply listings from other brokers. Exclusive information. That's how that works.
Uh, let's go back to the PowerPoint and continue on here. Um, you can have more than one website too, by the way. Websites are like billboards. It's like Chanel, when they have their perfume and their marketing in Toronto, they're gonna have more than one website. How to promote your website. I've shown you how to see that particular video and how to get money from doing it. Knowing our pledge is very important. Never go longer than 90 days without doing business or give us a call. At this point, if you could just take a moment and fill in that uh, survey. Does everyone have a copy of the survey evaluation form? Do you mind filling that in right now? The value, uh, valuation form? He's filling it in okay. Okay, thank you so much so for doing that. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Uh, you, and if you're going to do it, you should do it here because I'm gonna get you going right now. I wanna make an appointment with you. How many people are thinking of joining right now, by the way? How many, okay. Before you leave, I have an orientation package for you to give you, it has all the instructions and you make an appointment with me online and then you'll be good to go. I wanna make sure you have your appointment set. Yes. Okay, you can do this. Um, there we go there. Anybody else need an evaluation for him? No? Okay. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate your feedback very much. We try to make these uh, as interesting and as good as possible. Oh, great. Well, I look forward to working with you. I look forward to working with you one on one too. Okay. That sounds good. Oh. And we can now uh, complete the session. And that's it for today. For people that are interested in the uh, special, you can go to nreils.com. And there is a special there. You can mention that you saw the video with it on there. And you can ask, will we honor it? And then talk to us on the phone. And kind of go for there. That completes our session for today. I'm gonna to return back to our main website and leave you with our contact information. And we do recommend that you simply click on make an appointment at the very top. Uh, but if you need to contact us, click on contact us. And there's our contact information worldwide, whether you're in the United States, Canada, or any player in the rest of the world, you can join this service and you should, uh, because we can actually put your information on all brokers' websites worldwide, make your information available worldwide instantly and shareable on other real estate brokers websites. Have a great day. We're always here for you.